everything you do has meaning. It's all magnified. Right? When you're watching somebody and they're, they're acting on stage, they scratch their head. That means something. Don't scratch your head because you have an itch, unless the character has an itch. Unless it tells something about the play. You know? <clears throat> Nervous behavior is, doesn't belong up here. This is a place about specificity. Don't scratch the head because the character scratches the head. Put your hand to think about something because the character is trying to figure out what the scene's about, not because you're nervous and you don't know what to do with your hands. One of the stories that Stella Adler told, uh, she had us go to the park, a group of, group of young people like yourselves. Go to, go to uh, Central Park, come back and tell me what you saw. Right? So we all got up and we went, come back in an hour, and we, she, you know, okay, get up, tell me what you saw. Well, I, was, I saw a guy selling hot dogs and there, there was some kids playing soccer ball and she started screaming, you know. You're not a reporter! You're a student! You're an actor! Don't get up on my stage and talk to me like a, like a news reporter. Tell me what you experienced, what you felt, what you saw. Tell me about the pine tree that was enormous and the, and the, and the, and the elm tree that was growing up in its shadow and had to find the sun in order to be able to catch the, the rays of light from the sun that's necessary in order to grow. She's a great, great teacher. So she's sitting on the throne, and this young girl, pretty girl like yourself, is, is, uh, comes out to do the balcony scene from Romeo and the Juliet. Romeo and, Juliet. Romeo and the Juliet. <laughs> <laughs> Adaptation. That's the serious yeah. And Stella is ready, I mean, she, you know, because we're watching her and watching Stella. Her reaction to what's going on. And you see Stella look at her, and then she looks at the class like, oh no, she's not. And here comes. And the girl goes, Romeo, Romeo. And Stella says, stop. She goes, I haven't begun. She said, you've gone too far. <laughs> you have no idea who this girl is. This is a 15 year old Italian girl who's in love with a boy who her father would kill. Her father would kill his own daughter if he knew that she was going out with that boy. This is two families at war with one another. When she goes out on that stage and says, Romeo, Romeo, wherever out thou, Romeo, she wants her Romeo! <laughs> And Stella had her 80 year old boobs in her head. <laughs> she wants her Romeo. Get down on your hands and knees. You've got a bucket in your eye. Scrub the floor. She said, I'm sorry, she said, you're going to get down on your hands and knees. You're going to take a bucket and a rag imaginary, and scrub the floor. And she got down on her hands and knees, and it was clear to everyone that she'd never put her hands in a bucket or wrung out her rag and even wiped the floor before in her life. Mm. And Stella said, you see, you don't understand that class of people. How can you expect to understand this class of people? You have to understand the class of the people that you're playing. And Stella had grown up <clears throat> with Ibsen and Chekhov, which are plays about class, classes. I've, I've reached a stage now where I'm not interested in looking at the work anymore. I just enjoy the experience of doing it. But I want to be so alive in that moment, so truthful, that I don't really care about the... Because you know what? The, uh, the result, you know, like what, how the critics, how the box office, all that stuff will crush you. It will kill you. Mm -hmm. It will kill you that you write a song and you play, you know, and you pour your heart into it. People go, oh, sounds like the Beatles. They're just copying the Beatles. <laughs> so what? The Beatles sound else. Yeah. <laughs> make your, you know, make it positive for you. Mm -hmm. You matter. You really do. So if you came here today for me to give you advice about how to be a movie star, <laughs> you failed terribly. Because <laughs> I can't, I can't, I don't know how to teach that. But if you came here today with the hope of me helping you become a little bit better human being, I hope that I, 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 uh, I, I accomplished that. Um, our goal 
in life should be to always have our hand out to be able to help another person out. Because, uh, so, it's not, so I, that's all I, I want to do, try to help people out, you know, to, to achieve your goal, to, to tell your stories, to sing your songs, you know, because it's really important, because as we talked about, that these are very interesting times, and very dangerous times, and we're going to need people to be able to, uh, to speak truth to power 